our Abba Father, Yahweh, gave me a vision last night and I saw the black horse of the book of Revelation. And um, God showed me that also about two months ago and I posted that on YouTube. And what our Abba Father is revealing is that the famine is going to just intensify uh, lack of food, not only food, but lack of supplies. Prices are going to go sky high. Prices of gasoline, oil, food is going to just continue to go up. Why? Because the Bible is being fulfilled. Uh, birth pains are increasing on the earth. God is shaking the earth. God is uh, wanting people to, to know that He is God, that He is our Savior, that He is the one that is our provider, that we do not depend on people, on humans, uh, on other things, but we depend upon Him. And He is a miracle worker. He can part the seas. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He can do all things. There's nothing impossible for Him to do. Amen. He is eternal. He is faithful. He is awesome. He is all powerful. He knows what we need. He hears our prayers. He knows our hearts. He knows what we go through. My friends, we need to trust him. He wants us to obey him, obey his commandments, obey the word of God. God wants us to study the word of God. God wants us to pray and seek his face daily, fast and fast your time spend time alone with him for he is the only one that can save amen he is the only one that can provide also a supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding to guard our minds and our hearts amen in christ jesus yeshua hallelujah for yeshua jesus christ is coming soon he is alive he's the only way to heaven the only way to our father creator heavens and earth hallelujah abba father amen my friends, there's no other saints that can take us to our Father, that can take us to heaven. No other gods can bring us uh, eternal life, salvation. So my friends, famine, uh, lack of water, lack of food, lack of supplies are in going to just increase, intensify. So we know, as the Bible says, that things will be harder, but He is our provider. He'll give us supernatural strength. Let's not forget to pray. Pray and seek His face. Ask God for strength daily. Ask Him for discernment, more wisdom, more discernment, strength, have revelation. Pray for revelation. Desire to know Him more. Desire to know Bible prophecies. Desire to know what is coming, how to prepare, how to help your family, your friends, and your neighbors. How to uh, warn them of what is coming. Amen. For there are so many prosperity preachers and teachers out there they will only say what people want to hear but they are not saying anything of what is written truly in the book of revelation or match 24 uh luke 21 the things that are coming god wants us to know bible prophecies god wants us to know what is coming why so we know that he is in control of all things so we are not caught by surprise of what is coming god wants us to prophesy god wants us to hear his voice so my friends how do we do that by by desiring him desire to know him more desire the spiritual gifts desire to be used by him to encourage other people to lead others to salvation so let's turn away from darkness turn away walk away from anything that displeases god because darkness separates us from god nothing can separate us from his love but he says anyone who wants to follow me says the lord jesus christ yeshua he says anyone that wants to be my follower my disciple deny yourself no longer us who live but J jesus christ yeshua who lives in us deny yourself pick up our cross and follow him amen my friends do not fear, says the Lord. Do not fear anything that is happening on the earth. What you see happening. Do not fear Bible prophecies. Do not fear, but because those are this is the Bible being fulfilled. Rejoice. Our redemption draws near. Rejoice. This is the last generation. We're going to be in heaven, in paradise, eternally rejoicing uh, in heaven. There's nothing but joy and peace. Hallelujah. We'll be praising the Lord. It's no sickness, no darkness, no doubt, no fear, no anxiety, no depression, nothing bad is in heaven. Heaven is a holy place. That is why sin does not enter heaven because heaven is holy. There is no darkness at all in heaven. So darkness cannot get in heaven. And that is why people. some people say, oh, God is merciful. So sin will enter heaven. Well, God does not change. 
And what he says he is, that's who he is. He is holy. There's, there can be any darkness in heaven. That is why darkness separates us from God because it is sin. Our sin separates us from God, not from his love. It is, that is a different thing. God loves us uh, unconditionally. Amen. He hates sin. So, my friends, again, let's pray for understanding of the word of God. And God reveals to us the whole truth as we seek him he he knows he sees our hearts why he sees our hearts glory to god amen hallelujah yeshua is coming